All right, so I want to draw some dots. I have a lot of different types of pens that I use. And one type of pen that I use a lot of these, these technical pens, there's these Rotring Rapidographs, which you can see here. And the other type is this Rotring Isograph. The only difference between these is that the Rapidograph is filled with cartridges. You just you know, put them in and out here as they fill and unfill and as you put the ink onto the paper, right? And by the way, these little colored bands right here, they don't really mean what color ink is in there. It's just a way to tell the different size nibs apart. And the isograph is filled with, has a reservoir in there, and then you just refill it by taking this off and pouring a little more ink out of little bottles like this into there. I'm not going to do that now. It does get easily quick. It does get messy quickly easily quickly easily messy it does does get messy quickly and easily but anyways i have a little sketchbook that is a little red sketchbook that is entirely and in all other ways completely dedicated just to drawings that are entirely and in all other ways dots that is stippling um, pointillism, I believe, is kind of like stippling, but it's like with paint, and then stippling is with just dots, like drawing ink. You can look it up for yourself if you're confused, but I believe this is stippling, and I will stick by that. And then pointillism is, yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying the same thing over and over again. But anyways, after I got everything set up, you can see here I flipped through the drawings I've got so far in here. There's not very many of them in this little sketchbook so far, but I'm happy to make another installation in my little stippling sketchbook it's been it's been quite a while um really uh there's i the way i draw you know as if you've been on this channel for very long is very it's very passive i don't plan things out i just start the drawing and then i let it kind of progress as it progresses i let the drawing kind of lead the way for most of the time but that even that ha that happens even more so with stippling uh, because I just kind of start adding little, little hordes, little, not hordes, little, um, what's the word? Like a clump of bees. I'm imagining they're like bees of a fuzz, not a fuzz, a buzz, no, a, like a clump, a, hmm. Anyways, there's a bunch of them on the page there and you can kind of, as you carefully add the dots to the paper, you can feel something taking form, but you're not being too careful. You're not adding them like in a, don't add them in a perfect grid. Did you hear the thumping? Anyways, don't add them in a perfect grid or anything. Um, add them kind of hap, a little bit haphazardly, but carefully, right? And you can kind of see things kind of taking their own form and shape and then make some little parts darker, some little parts leave them a little lighter. And uh, I don't really know what I'm saying, but the, the drawings do kind of take their own form and have a mind of their own even more so than normal, which is it's fun to, to watch it happen. You, can, you still have control over what's going on. You can still draw lines and shapes and circles and tones and gradients are a very fun thing to do with stippling. Very satisfying to get that sort of thing down. Um, and they have they have these things these days, you know, you can get like these... These pens, these like electric pens that, um, uh, they like, it's like, they're like pneumatic, they're not pneumatic. Does pneumatic mean it has, uh, it's air powered? It's just electronic, you know, it has different settings where it, the tip of the pen goes in and out really fast and you're like, and, uh, it's like automatically stipples the paper for you. Um, I, I don't recommend these, not because... I think it's cheating, but just because I think it's a terrible product that produces a, a terrible result. Okay, not well, maybe not a terrible result, but the result it produces um, isn't really stippling. Like half the lines, I mean, half the dots it makes, these, these pens make are like, you know, you're like moving the pen around as you draw and it's not really fast enough. Sometimes you move the you're moving the pen too fast, and it makes a, a little line instead of a dot. And you don't control like when the pen actually goes down. And 
uh, it's just not a good thing. So sometimes it draws two dots in the same spot. It, it's not you you, you re- surrender a lot of control when when you use these automatic stippling pens and stippling. That's like the the, the pinnacle of control. You, the stippling looks best when you deliberately place each dot slowly and carefully. This, of course, stippling will also take longer at this point, you know. The, to make your stippling, I'm, t- I'm saying this word stippling a lot, stipple, 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 but to make your stippling look better, slow down, use a finer tip pen, and place each dot slowly, deliberately. It doesn't have to be slow, slow, okay? But the better, the, the, the more you do it, the quicker you'll do it, the faster, you know, you'll get into a groove. The more you do anything, you'll get gooder, gooder and betterer at it. And so don't you worry about it. But I'm saying don't get too, the, you'll, you'll be able to tell if you're rushing, it'll get sloppy and, and slops, it'll look like slop. Sloppy is, is sloppy. You know what I'm saying? Careful looks good. There you go. You get what you pay for and time is money. So. That's just how, that's just how it goes. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, bye.